Hey y'all, it's Sherry from Sherry K. Loves Yarn and Crochet. I'm just coming out to show you the gardens again, see what they have started to look like. And we got the deck done. And he's got a canopy above his grill. And we got the table out which I'm going to go to a smaller table because it takes up too much space. But I've been out here crocheting. I am doing washcloths and a hand towel. And then I cut those from my mother-in-law's mock orange tree. But here's my baskets of petunias. They're coming along nicely. And another basket of petunias. And some of these flowers are starting to go by. But these are called, these bushes are called Japanese Holly Sky Pencils. And they'll get to be about 10 foot tall. And it'll make a great break between the neighbor's house and our deck. But we've got all these. These are going, some of them are starting to go by. And this is the rack to go to the back of our pickup, which we use when we go to pick up lumber. And we uh, took it off when we went to go get some more mulch last night over in New York. Now, we go to New York to get a lot of our stuff only because I don't like the Walmart in Rutland, Vermont. You still can't buy a lot of stuff because the governor doesn't deem it essential, which I don't understand. But as you can see, I got one of the bird feeders out um, for the hummingbirds. I still have to find a place to hang it up. But we've got... Another petunia. I love petunias. <laughs> and some more of those Japanese hollies. And we've got a pergola going up on my father-in-law's deck to cover his hot tub. And we've got a lot of these coming up. That's the mock orange. It's beautiful and it smells so nice. But here we go. Well, remember when we told you when I first started doing our garden and greenhouse, I was telling you about all the things we were planting. <laughs> it's gotten much bigger. I've got these tied up. These are all tomatoes. And we've got Brussels sprouts and cabbage, but they are getting so big. And more tomatoes. As you can tell, we love tomatoes. In these black bags, as you can see, there's tiny little sprouts in there. These are potatoes. We're trying our hand at different styles of growing. And this is our cabbage. And I've got some kale. And over here, we have some eggplant. And we've got and here we've got pepper plants. I think these are um, jalapenos. And then we've got some peas over there. 
And I'm not sure if this is squash, but it's really growing out. And we've got some more peppers here. These, I believe, are just regular green peppers. And we've got some holly in here as well, just sitting it in there until we can get it planted wherever my mother-in-law wants to get it planted. This right here is Cubanelle peppers. And they're really getting big. And then, of course, we've got some more tomatoes. We've got a lot of tomatoes. But I figure what I don't process and what Chris doesn't process, we can sell. Then we've got some beans that are starting to get little flowers on. And some more squash. And I think we've got peas in that one. More tomatoes. Ooh, this is zucchini. We've got a zucchini coming. Awesome. Got a couple of zucchinis in there. Let's see if I can get in there. Can you see it? That's pretty awesome. And then we've got some more kale. And then I decided to try my hand at putting radishes in the bag. And they're starting to come up pretty good. And our Brussels sprouts are getting huge plants. And I've also got some more jalapenos here, but I'm going to have to pull them up and transplant them into another box. These are icicle ranch, ra bleh, sorry, <laughs> icicle radishes. And I actually pulled one up and it was a good size and I ate it right out of the garden. It was so good. Then I transplanted some more kale. And I've got some chives here. And these are kalarabai here and here, two different kinds. And here we have um, oh, I'm drawing a blank here for a second. Turnip and rutabaga. And then I replanted some more radishes here. And these tiny little plants right here are marigolds. But our onions are coming up really good. By the end of growing season, this will be a clove of garlic or a thing of garlic. I've got to get back in here and weed. I just did it last weekend. No. The weekend before. And then over here is my horseradish. But I also put in some um, sunflowers right there. And it's kind of overtaken here. Right here is another sunflower. And here's a sunflower. Horseradish is kind of blocking. And then I put another one. No, I didn't. This is another horseradish plant. But. Whew, it's about 86 degrees here in Vermont. It's supposed to get hotter. And now I'm going to take you inside my... Greenhouse, sorry for the mess. I just haven't had time to clean it up. More peppers and a 
ton more tomatoes. This, this is just an experiment to see how well they do inside the greenhouse. I do have to start running a fan to kind of cool it down. But like I said, it's just an experiment. Whew, it's hot in here. But I will be back later and show you my yarn haul from Joann's. I was so happy when I went over there that they were open. That I went in and spent a little bit of time. I got uh, a few little things. But I will be back. Well, I'm back. I, for my, Roxy, stay from my mother-in-law for her birthday uh, this past Monday, the 15th. Roxy, here. Come. Get over here. Sorry, folks. You're not listening. Get in the yard. We bought her that hydrangea, and I planted it in her other garden. I cleaned it all out. Some of these have already come past. I transplanted a lot of irises in here for her as well. And hopefully they'll come back up next season. But I weeded all that, pulled out all the dead leaves, put down some mulch. And we've got the state over here redoing the rail trail. And what the rail trail is, was where the railroad used to come through town and they turned it into a walking trail and horseback riding trail. But unfortunately, some people just can't get it and they ride their four wheelers down. So hopefully this will stop them. They'll be putting up gates and putting in a picnic area and stuff. Roxy. And then of course we get people that throw their garbage in here. Roxy. Gotta love people. But this is the other garden area that I weeded out. And this is just all irises. Sorry. And my next project. Let's see, this is, they're putting in, this will be the walkway right here and then that's the parking area. And then way down in there is going to be a picnic area. Roxy? But this is my next project. Coming in here, weeding out, trimming down the smoke tree. runs all the way over to there. Well, I'm going to let you all go because this has been 18 minutes long, almost 19 minutes long. I will let you go. Y'all have a fantastic day. Enjoy being outside. It's beautiful. And take care. Love you all.